Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to Silvarion's channel. Today we are going to play Ragnarok X Next Generation and I'm going to show you the evolution from Wizard to High Wizard after hitting job level 50. Then we are going to show you some of the skills from High Wizard. Okay, let's complete the job quest to turn to High Wizard. So High Wizard have uh, a lot of new skills, especially the magic attack bonus, the buff that we need. So at level 49 job, you can already start the quest to complete for your transcendent second class. So you can start doing it before hitting 50. And right after you hit 50, you can go to cathedral. And then you can complete the quest to become high wizard. Okay. I'll hand over. Okay, go to Odin statue. Countless brave adventurers are recognized by Odin that gives our strength here. We are the hope of the Rune Kingdom. No, the hope of all of Midgard. And today, it is for this reason that you will be honored. Adventurer, are you ready? The job advancement ceremony has officially begun. Lord Odin, behold the brave hero standing before you. His courage has inspired the world. His wisdom leads the world. He is the hope of this world. Adventurer, are you willing to swear that even in the darkest hour, the light of justice will always Alright, so that's the cinematic to become High Wizard. Okay. So you can see here, my class is now High Wizard. Yeah, nice. That's complete. Okay, let's take a look at some of the new skills that is unlocked after High Wizard. Okay, first we are going to do a skill reset. So let me check why is this load out. Okay, I have ice lightning, fire ghost, and fire and for PvP. Okay, let's reset the ice lightning first. So for for ice lightning, uh these are some of the key skills that we need. Okay, and finally we have Chain Lightning as our new skill. So this is the important skill as an Ice Lightning Wizard. We will still need this. Okay, and the Amplify Magic Power, the new buff that we need as a Wizard, High Wizard. And that's basically it for the Ice Lightning Wizard. Oh, and Lightning Bolt as well. Yep. I think I can reduce one Jupiter and add one Lightning Bolt since level 9 has no cooldown. Yeah, so this is basically the build for an Ice Lightning Wizard. Okay, let's put the skills in. Ok, 
Okay, now we have an additional uh, chain lightning to use for our AoE. So that's good. Okay, I'll create a new custom skill for Frost Diver and Jupiter Thunder as well as Lightning Bolt so Frost Diver to Lightning Bolt to Jupiter Thunder is a good combo for Ice Lightning and then we can also have Energy Coat and Firewall and also Amplify Magic Power so this 3 buff yep in this order so we can have Amplify Magic Power, Energy Code, and Firewall. I think maybe I can split this to to be just a buff. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, so this is the ice lightning wizard. So this is the skill build. Alright, let's go to our second loadout. To fire ghost. Okay, let's do a reset for fire ghost. Okay, so for fire ghost is slightly different. We want to maximize Kindle as well as Meteor Storm. And then we want to have Napalm Vulcan and Intense Telekinesis. Alright. So, this is the build for Fire Ghost. This is the new skill for Meteor Storm. Yep. I think we can maybe reduce firewall here. We don't need it to be level 10 if we want to use sight. I think we can reduce this. Actually I don't need I don't need a high level site. Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe just like this. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, now for the skills.
Yep, and same thing. I'll put Amplify Magic, Energy Code, Firewall as one combo. And maybe Fireball. Yep, and maybe this is another combo. Yep. Right, so this is for Fire Ghost. Okay, let's turn on all the skills as well. Yep. Okay, next we'll go to the loadout for Earth Fire. So, Earth Fire, I don't have to reset because it is newly created. So, for Earth Fire, the important thing is our spike. Episode Swarm Gravitational Field That's the new one, that's the new skill So same thing, we want Kindle I don't think we need Meteor Storm for this For this one, we may want a uh, firebolt. Okay, you can have level 10 side. Yep, so it's something like this. Yep, maybe I can, I can just spam Meteor Storm. you know maybe I'll still pump a uh, napalm build yeah because it's a high damage so it's quite good can pump it your storm for the remaining okay so this is the build for fire ghost of uh, a uh, fire okay let's put in the skill Here we need we need this too as a AOE. Yep, then we can create same thing, custom skill for the buff. And for this one I can have earth, earth spike to fireball to fire pillar. Something like this. Yep, this is oh, um uh we missed out sight. Let's see if we can we can combine sight. Okay, I think we don't need uh firewall can just have side yep so 
There it is. Okay, great. Let's take a look again. I think we miss out sight here as well. Yeah, we can put here since we already have firewall. Sun has no sight. Okay. Now let's go to the PvP loadout. So this is purely for KVM and GVG. So we want a lot of CC and a lot of area damage, AOE damage. So we want storm gas. We want a lot of vermilion. We want chain lightning. We want abyssal swarm. Gravitational field. spike for the last one maybe we can reduce this actually it's okay okay yeah so this is for pvp all the all the area of effect damage You can remove firewall. You don't need firewall. Just spam more on Earth Spike. So this is for all area damage. Okay, let's combine the custom skill. Oops. We can have something like this. Actually, no. We don't need Jupiter Thunder because it'll push. It'll push people out of the AOE. So we need Frost Diver, Chain Lightning, Earth Spike. Maybe Cold Bolt.
Get something like this. Frost Lifer to Abyssal Storm to Storm Gust to Law of Vermilion to Gravity Gravitational Field Yep, so that should be the combo I'll just put an extra frost diver here just to control it. Okay, so that is the loadout. Let's go through again. Ice lining. Let's test it out in the field. So let's go to the field and fight some pouring. Okay, so here's my magic attack before buff, 6000. Now let me buff with amplify magic power and it becomes 6385. So it's about 300 plus but bonus. Yep. Now uh, we're going to show you the chain lightning. So this is chain lightning. Alright, the range is quite huge as you can see here. So let me stand in front of a lot of the pouring. Yep, and you'll hit everything nearby. So that's quite good for chain lightning. Okay, let's go to the fire ghost. So let me show you. First, this is fireball. This is fire pillar. And this is side. Side will become side treasure, which will knock back enemy around you. So that's good. Okay. And this is Napalm Vulcan. It takes a long time to actually charge, so it is quite a bad uh, skill. But as you can see, the damage is a lot. Yep. And then finally, I'll show you the Meteor Storm. It's also a channeling spell, one of the coolest looking spell in the game, Meteor Storm. Okay, now we go to a fire. Okay, so the earth, earth spike is also a damage around you. So it's quite good. Then we'll show you Abyssal Swarm. Yeah, it's just a debuff. Abyssal Swarm doesn't do any damage. Then Gravitational Field. It's the AoE. Yep. And finally, we'll go to the PvP. So over here, the combo will be to Frost Drive. And once enemy is frozen, you put Abyssal Swamp, and then you put Storm Gust, and then you put Storm Vermilion, and you put Gravitational Field. And that should be that. 
Okay, so that's all for the skill build for High Wizard. What do you guys think? Alright, thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video. Bye bye.